Yes. Seeing as you, uh, you're using animals here. Yes. Are objective moral animal, um, objective moral values uh, only uh, related to humans? Can they not also be related to animals? If they're objective, do they not relate to all of existence? And uh, therefore, um, are, you, are you sort of, should there be a qualification saying, uh, are objective moral, moral values in the mind of man as opposed to, therefore God exists in the mind of man as opposed yeah. to he exists totally? Yeah. Um, m animals are not moral agents. When an, a lion kills a zebra, it kills the zebra, but it doesn't murder the zebra. When a great white shark forcibly copulates with a female, it forcibly copulates with her, but it doesn't rape her. Because you see, none of these things is obligatory or forbidden. And it's the same on naturalism for human beings. These are just ingrained sociobiological patterns of behavior that evolution has put into us. But they're not objectively binding. The rapist who chooses to flout the herd morality is doing nothing more serious than acting unfashionably. He's the sort of moral equivalent of Lady Gaga, uh, out of step with the herd. But there really are no objective moral values on this view. Now think of what that means. That means that an atrocity like the Holocaust wasn't really wrong. It was just against the herd morality. But as Darwin himself pointed out, if you rewound the film of human evolution and started anew, a very different type of creature might have uh, uh, emerged with very different set of values. And it would be guilty of speciesism for us to think that our values are objectively binding and true and that other creatures' values are false. So on the naturalistic, atheistic view, there really are no objective moral values. But as Peter explained, you cannot explain uh, things like fallibilism, uh, the self-refuting nature of subjectivism, which says we ought to believe in subjectivism, which is a moral ought about epistemic duties, the proper basicality of our moral beliefs. I'll take the question later. So I think we've got good grounds for believing in objective moral values. And if you agree with me that some things are really right and wrong, like torture, raping a little child, hurting someone for fun, then you should agree with the house that God exists.